Hi, I'm Yeti, and this is MJ. And we're Yeti and MJ. That's such a bad beginning. No, I like that beginning. You it's think so, so tacky. Yeah. Yeah, you guys like it, don't you? Today we're gonna be showing you guys on how to live cheap. You or actually, nothing, kind of this day. whole week. Well, yeah. Today. Oh yeah, I guess it would be today for you. We're going to be living a week of no money because not today, no money, like oh, little okay. to yeah, like a hundred and fifty dollars between two people for a whole week, mm -hmm. and that's not a lot. So no. that includes every expense that we have. So gas, food, bills. I think we took care of most of them. Yeah, I think that's honestly about it. Fixes, if that came up. Yeah, so fingers crossed we don't have any fixes. The reason why we're not going to have any money, though, is because we are we're ordering... the Blue Eddy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! It's going to be a 2000 watt Blue Eddy. And we're super excited, but don't know when that's going to come in, so got to order that once my money clears. Yep, and then we're going to be broke for a week. Just went to Walmart and bought a few snacks and food just to last us a few days because we haven't bought the Blue Eddy quite yet. So we're just making sure that we have enough for that without overspending. So we tried to keep it below $5, everything that we got. We got something for breakfast. We got some healthy snacks of cheese and sausage. Yeti got his classic peanut butter unhealthy snacks and ice cream. Man, you know, healthy stuff will keep you fuller longer. For longer. Yeah. Look at this view of Pikes Peak. Yes, I've never really looked too much at my car, like, and I just find new things while I'm cleaning. I don't know what this is. What is it for? I don't know. Right now I'm going around and I'm spraying all the vinyl dressing, or all the vinyl with this glass cleaner before I go and vinyl dress it because it cleans it off. I don't know. That's what Yeti told me. He knows no more. But it makes it smell good in here, not like dog. You want to use this instead of the window spray mcguire's interior cleaner it'll work just the same all right we're going to show you how this works the change it makes so this is before all right now we're going to put this on it looks very oily but what it's supposed to do is look the make the vinyl look brand spanking new and from what I gather you typically only put this on the black uh, you don't typically put it on the cream colored because I'm not sure why I'm not going to even try and pretend I know why because I don't all right there it is Honda, all clean, although look at this clear coat. It is bad. That's from driving on the back roads and just normal wear and tear. I've got rock chips galore on my hood as well. Um, this car has taken quite the beating since I've had it. I have some dents in here, you know, that are from a tree falling on it broke my entire windshield, so I had to get a new one of that, but... You know, it is clean, 
I just got a lot of stuff. Today is Sunday and we're supposed to all have off and hang out. But this weekend, Yeti was asked to come in and help with inventory. So he's in there, so is little Kay. I, I've got all the puppies and animals. We make a lot of random clips that don't go anywhere in all of our vlogs and you're always like what the heck man Why are we doing that? Well, this is another one of those and um, the reason why we're doing it is because sometimes we just see random things when we're out and about and we're like, oh, we have to film this. So we were just driving right now on this road and this, this is a completely residential area. As you can see, there are houses everywhere and I'm not trying to film these people's addresses, but there is a buck sitting right here. Stop. Hi, Mr. Buck. There's a big buck right there. And then you think that's it? Stop right here, baby. This one has velvet on its horns. That's super, super rare, baby. Oh, really? Yeah, that means it's, because it's rare to see them in that stage. I've never seen one in my life. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight point buck. All right. I just want to watch it for a couple of seconds, man. I've never seen one of these in my real life. I'm on, wow. Hi, buddy. You are just crazy, dude. Yeah, where I'm from, we don't just see them in our yards, man. Not this close. Hi, dude. You just coming right oh, over here. Close. You're just hanging out. You're just crazy friendly, man. What's up with that? You are so domesticated. It's freaky. I'm going to go slow so I'm freak out. Hi, buddy. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing nothing to you, man. I'm not even getting out of the car. I don't want to scare you. You're beautiful. I just want to admire you. He's like, all day. I'm gonna do my own thing. And we've been watching him for a minute or so. Nothing crazy, but he's beautiful. And then if you go into this third yard, there is a third buck. They travel in herds! This is a six point. Nope, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight point buck, another eight point buck. Really weird rack, man. No, that's a seven point buck. And you're standing weird, dude. Good morning, everybody. Morning is Monday morning. And it is November, let's see what date it is today. November 8th. It is November 8th. And we are about to head out from our boondockings location and go to the dog park, Bear Creek Dog Park in Colorado Springs. And MJ, there's my dog now, Sophie. MJ went to work right away this morning. She'll be off around 5 p.m. And right now it's about 9 p.m. So, um, that's living with little K. He's coming with us to the dog park and he has two dogs, uh, Blue Healer and Ozzy. And if you guys are wondering what breed Sophie is, she's a Blue Healer. I don't know if I've said that. I know my vlogs are kind of all over the place and that's because our life is kind of all over the place right now, but that's not to say that I'm not gonna get better over time. I'm gonna get better at filming every day and kind of just getting into the grimy, what is real van life, what is real nomadic lifestyle in 2021. All right, but without further ado, let's get to the dog park. Just got to Bear Creek Dog Park. And living with little K is actually making coffee right now. I actually made it perfect too. Make it perfect, huh? Sophie, stop. Roy. Sophie's wearing a trading vest. Here is the dog park. And then inside my house today, I am making breakfast. I just set up my stove. I got my eggs out of the fridge, my cheese out of the fridge, and my milk out of the fridge. I'm gonna make a nice little egg platter with some donuts and coffee. Sound good? Mm-hmm. I think they got more coming, girl. You gotta stay on the trail, guys. Walking the dog park trail right now. It's actually, this is right outside the Bear Creek. This is technically dog the, uh, park. Bear I didn't Creek step on him. He trail. just tripped on a rock and he has a hurt paw, Jordy. <laughs> Poor little dude. And what is this? Bear Creek Trail. Bear Creek Trail. There's the Bear Creek Dog Park and there's the Bear Creek Park. And this is a part of the park. It's just uh, outside of the fence in area. Yeah. Yeah. More for so bikes. We're, we're take, yeah, more for mountain bike walkers, hikers. But you can take your pup out in here too. Yeah. And my pup is clearly having a great time running and chasing these little birds. They got cactus and in sparrows. their feet. Yep, they got a couple cactus in their feet, so you gotta watch out for the cactus. Yep. There's my pup hunting. But the dogs usually don't care. No, they usually are bite right through the pain. Yeah. Just like Jordy right now playing fetch even though his paw hurts. Yep. That's just pups, man.
cards all cut, man. Professionally. <laughs> Getting all nice and squared off. Stopping and picking up the lumber for living with little K. Uh, we now shoved it all inside my house, which I can't even do anything in it. And I'm sitting in my living room area, and that's about as much as I could do until little K gets back. He just ran to our mailbox, P.O. box, to pick up his brand new cell phone he just bought. Uh, I think it's the iPhone 13, and that way he can record and film so much better videos for you guys. He really just dropped $1,000 of his own money on this phone, paying it out right, right away, so that way he could film simply for you guys. Because the phone that he had currently was like an iPhone, a really old iPhone, and it didn't shoot very good videos anymore because he had both sides of the screen cracked. So now he's really upgrading and it's going to be pretty cool that he'll have a brand new phone to show you the world that he's seeing. I actually wanted to film this clip. It's kind of windy. Uh, I wanted to film this clip to show the location that we're at. It is really close to our uh, boondocking spot. And, oh man, I'm falling. <laughs> the cube started to tip. Um, it's right next to this cool river, the Colorado River that flows right in front of me. And then behind me is actually a train track with a train that constantly goes by right here. So I get to listen to the train. There's other campers. So there's a camper there and a camper down there. This is a pretty good spot that most people are allowed. You're allowed to sleep here overnight if you so please it's literally off the road so you get noise constantly and you got to watch the pets but they like the little openness Sophie and I are taking a little walk and just kind of looking down here at come on get over here come here Sophie now a bag of bones whatever the heck that animal is stinks trying to get down by the water I just got finished with work and it's already pretty dark where everyone has their lights on, street lights are on, and you know, that makes me sad because that makes me realize that before, well, yes, I worked until five, it was still bright out, I could still go and do stuff, but now it's going to be five and it's going to be dark, it's going to be cold. I'm just not going to want to go out that much. And it's kind of sad because can't do anything about it Monday through Friday. I gotta work. And yeah. MJ and I got to Garden of the Gods. And we actually have this really cool spot that if you park by the trading post, the Garden of the Gods trading post, maybe about half a mile down the road from the trading post, there's this really great van spots that are just good parking along the road with trash cans that you can throw your things away. The point of this clip is to show you these plums that we just picked up from Walmart. These are the biggest plums I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, this is an apple. The inside of a plum, if you guys are not familiar. Plums are one of my favorite fruit fruits to eat. That is a beautiful plum with one seed. Wow. That is so big. Good. MJ and I are buying our power supply right now on our lunch break. 
and it is a Black Friday sale for the Blue Eddy. So go ahead and purchase it, baby. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Hey now. <laughs>